What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Swagger Drone here, bringing you guys some post commentary over a duel I had a couple of days ago. It's me using Evil Storm going against Gustos, so let's hop right into it. My turn, I'm gonna start off by summoning Thunderbird and set two back row, and then I'm gonna pass. My opponent's turn, he's gonna blind MST, and I'm gonna chain Thunderbird's effect just to safely dodge anything else that he might do this turn, and just so I could, next turn I could have a 1950 beater. So yeah, he's gonna space, hit my compose, and then he's just gonna set a monster and set two back row. My turn, I get Thunderbird back. I'm gonna attack, and then I, I hit his, um, what's this one, Winda. And he's gonna get out Godo. Once I realized that he's playing Gustos, I decided to summon out Thunder King, just so I could stop any, uh, any of his, um, synchro play, so he couldn't get Spreeze out. His turn, he's gonna activate Emergency Teleport to get out Parika, and then he's gonna synchro into um, Spreeze. Okay, I'm. I actually misclicked when they asked me to what I want to activate Thunder King's effect, and I accidentally right clicked. So I completely fucked that up, and he got his Spreeze out. But it's still fine because I had the Mirror Force in case he wanted to attack. So it wasn't it wasn't that big of a deal. So he's gonna activate Spreeze effect to get back Parika. He's just I, he's just gonna pass because I'm assuming he uh. He didn't want to run into a back row and have his freeze die. My turn, I'm gonna summon out Caster and then heal your trouble with Caster's effect and go into Ophion just so he can't do another, um, any more synchro plays. And then, like a dumbass, I accidentally attacked into Spree's I completely forgot that it can't be destroyed by battle. So, yeah, I, I went derp. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna pass and end my turn since I can't get a search off because Thunder King is on the field. His turn, he's gonna push Breeze into the fence mode, then some Parika to get back his Goldo, and then he's gonna tag into my Ophion with uh, Parika and then do some damage to me. Still, still no big deal, cause I have a lot of life points to work with. My turn, I'm gonna summon Mandragora, then go into um, Black Shipper Core to try to get off, get his Breeze off the field, but unfortunately, he had the Veiler, so yeah, that happened. But since Thunder King's off the field, I use Ophion's effect to get out my uh, infection so I could do some more searching in case I could I draw an Evil Storm monster so I could get a Kirky on and start doing some stuff. His turn, he's gonna put his Goldo in attack mode and attack into my Ophion. But here I made an, another misplay. Um, I activated Feed the Chain. What I should have done was target his Freeze, but I targeted his Goldo, which was a Poor, poor judgment on my part. If I had targeted his uh, sprees, he would have taken um, damage from the battle between Godo and Ophion, and I could have been easily been able to kill sprees uh, next turn. So he's gonna put his sprees into attack mode for whatever reason, and end his turn. My turn. I'm gonna activate uh, Black Ship of Corn's effect to get rid of his sprees. If if I had Phoenix chained his sprees. Um, before, I kind of just ran it over with uh, Ophion or something and just send whatever monster he summoned with Godo to the grave with uh, Black Sheep Corn. So I would have been, been in I would have been in a better position, but uh, what can you do? Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna attack over his stuff, and and he's just gonna do his uh, his Gusto shenanigans. Uh, overall, he was able to get out Cam, I think her name is, and then I'm just gonna call it a dance instead of Book of Moon. His turn, he's gonna activate uh, Cam's effect to shuffle in some stuff, draw a card. He drew into an MST and he blinds space into my Book of Moon, so I'm just gonna chain it just for LOLs. So he's gonna flip summon his Cam. I'm assuming he thought uh, he would get Cam's effect, but there's only one per turn, so uh, let's play on his part. Then he's gonna activate a uh, quill pin of Goldos. Uh, to send back some stuff to return one of my to return my Ophion, but I'm gonna chain Pandemic to protect my Ophion. And then he's just gonna set a back row. Uh, during the end phase, I'm gonna activate Infection to return my uh, Thunderbird to get back Kirkion since I figured Thunderbird already did a job, so I don't really need him anymore. So my turn, I'm gonna I drew into Salt Warning, which was perfect because that pretty much solidified this game for me. Because once I have Salt Warning, any place he even tries to attempt next turn, I'm, I, I'm just gonna have the answer for it. So now I'm just gonna normal summon my Kirkion and get Heal Your Trope, summon it. And I'm gonna activate um, Pandemic right now. So in case he had like 
two mirror forces or something, he wouldn't be able to chain both of them when I activate Pandemic during the battle phase. So yeah, it just just uh, <laughs> this is something I learned when playing uh, Castellers with Omega. So I'm just gonna attack over his Cami thing. He's gonna uh, Mercy teleport into Parika just to uh, not take such a big hit. But he still took a lot of damage. Unfortunately, I don't think I had Cowboy in my extra deck in this game. So I'm just gonna overlay to another Ophion and get another Pandemic. And just set um, that and Salt so Morning. And my opponent is just gonna scoop out the deck because there's pretty much nothing he could do in his hand. And his field is only two safe zones, so there's, again, absolutely nothing he could do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Uh, quick thing, just a little channel uh, update. Um, I'm gonna be working on the next showcase, which is most likely gonna be on Evil Swarms. And then, probably this weekend, um, Backburner is probably gonna release his uh, scrap, his scrap profile using the whole uh, new fuel spell that's gonna come out in Primal Origins. And then after that, uh, once I finish the Evil Swarm. Uh, showcase I'm probably gonna be working on some prime origin stuff again and the next entry might be galaxies or um, Bounty boxes I'm not entirely sure yet but it's definitely gonna be one of those two and also we've been experimenting with um, Google Hangouts to see if we could do some live streaming for you guys so expect some maybe some live stream testing later on the channel and then we're probably gonna ask for some of your feedback to see if you guys like it or not so yeah guys, again, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys later.